Welcome back. This is right. This is a take two, mostly because a lot of things came from the middle of my recording and I had to stop it, so it kind of sucked. But either way, I'm going to run over here back where we were. We see some little slime monsters pooling up. And uh, I found where that red gem was that I thought I was going to get it before, but you know what? It doesn't really matter because I, I, I still don't have it now, but I mean, I, I figured out where it is. And I also, last time I used a stupid little thingamabooper herb, that's what it was, but I just gotta get to Gaia, just gotta get to Gaia, my good old Gaia, she'll, she'll help me out on this one, well Frieden's just gonna poke him to death, poke him, poke him, poke him, he can poke him, so, as we run over, we've got a dash everywhere here, we're gonna pop this, and this is the one you wanna start on, cause this is the easiest one to start on, and you see that part where I'm about to die, um, nope, you don't, cause I'm not, cause I'm juking around, and, he never dies. Frieden is a hero to all mankind. So we're just gonna run over here and we see like, oh no, we're gonna die. Nope, go in here. And then we're gonna run down and see, oh hey, look, it's my girl Gaia. And you see, oh sorry for hitting the microphone. Um, instead of staying with Gaia, we're gonna chill. We're gonna go back to hard mode because you know, while Frieden's cool and all, we just need to get back to hard mode because you know, if we want this game to be a challenge. I mean, yes, I want to f continue my journey. Um. Now that we're back, while we're here though, we're going to pick up, uh, we're going to talk to this guy, like, yo, there's a journey, not about the Incas, the Incan Melody of the Wind, chant in the Golden Room. You'll find out what that means in a moment, because I also have to actually backtrack in a moment to show you guys something that I forgot last time, so, it's kind of important, so, let's just first break all these enemies, because we got to twirl our baton of justice, and we'll run down here and pick up another one that I forgot, and you see over here, there is a red jewel, so, that's pretty neat. So that's the only one here. I keep calling them red gems and the red jewels. Uh, I should probably be fixing the tags on my video. So we're just gonna keep on stabbing these enemies and doing the hop, do 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 the hop. And so now we got our strength up. So now we're gonna be hopping harder, harder, faster, longer, stronger. So longer, bonger. So let's just run right where we're going to be. Oh wait, I gotta backtrack before I do anything else. Oh yeah, there's some enemies here, by the way, BT dubs. I didn't actually know about these, so that's kind of helpful that I found out. But I gotta run over here. Because if I go over here, I can run over here. And then I can run over here. Because see, now, since we're in hard mode, I actually have to take a ton of damage. And I, well, I mean, I have to, I mean, I don't actually have to. So now we got that... Get that HP! Get the HP! And so now I'm going to be doing a quick, uh, warp. Hey, you guys remember this room? I do. I actually don't, but I do. But here's the thing. What I was supposed to do that I completely forgot is that after you get over here, and did I just warp? Yes, I did. So if you get over here, you're going to be like, yo, you're going to be talking, and you're going to go be freedom. And what you're supposed to do is go up this door instead of go the way I did. You're going to realize once you get down here, I've been warping a lot, so yeah, I'm not equipped, and we're going to see as we warp over here, there's a door over here that I didn't go through. You go into this door, and you talk to the rely quit. I can't even move. There's nothing in the sound. A wind plays in the valley plays a melody. The statue begins singing. And so as the statue is singing, you're going to have to question yourself, what the hell is its eyes doing? Because right now, it is anti-cross-eyed. It's pointing out laser things, like Jesus. Like, and look at the rock next to it. That's a very uniform pattern of rock. Like, that is... The chances of that ever happening in real life, very, very, very slim. Hey, you guys remember when we were over here? I sure don't, so now that we're walking back, it's only been about six and a half minutes of my recording because I've been warping around. The item we're going to pick is this one, and then from here on out is where I pretty much, well actually I got one bit past this, so we're going to start we're playing the wind melody. And so we're looking at him playing his clarinet, sounding quite brassy, and uh, it's gorgeous gorgeous jazz etude he's playing and after this thing finishes from him it looks like he's flicking us off but two times in one hand that's more impressive than anything so he's going to play this and then it's a, oh, a gold plate glows it took me literally 10 minutes to figure out what you're supposed to do here and literally this is all you do literally this is it and then it opens. I didn't know that. I was like doing everything I physically, humanly could there. But nope, none of it seemed to matter. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna be like, yo, what do we do here? We see there's like a, a, from here on I don't actually know what we do, so... 
I'm probably gonna assume you put a statue down there, so I'm gonna grab A. Can I put him here? No. Okay. We're gonna drop on his head. Can we put one here? Yeah, the shape of the mantle doesn't... Oh, I wasn't even reading the thing. That was just mashing buttons, so... I said B on that statue, and so we're gonna run up here. I'm resisting very hard to hit the warp button, because I know that must be kind of jolting for you to see. Hit B over here, and items. We're gonna grab this, and just place this right here. We hear some mystical warping noises in the background. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna see over here that, uh, something's... Oh, Jesus, rocks are flying everywhere. We need to... Oh, a duck and cover. I think one of those rocks might, you know, do a pretty big dent on you, and so now I could do that somehow. Um, go in the door, or go up the ladder, I'll go up the ladder. And the ladder leads to more laddering. So, um, oh, the ladder is just way out, so you can hop down. So, apparently gave me the mystical magical ability to jump, like, long jump, like, meters. I'm Carl Lewis over here. And so we see, um, a red, oh god, Jesus boss music, um, fire fingers. I didn't actually fight the boss, Jesus, Jesus. Do I, have, do I have to hit his exposed hand? Man, I'm a genius. And so, now we gotta dodge this fire cube thing, which looks like something straight out of Kirby 64, the second boss. And you fight the Jesus, 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 Jesus. I can't even see how much damage I'm doing. Should I like, try to psycho dash at the hands? Like, is that gonna do a heavy amount of damage? Oh no, I, I broke one of the hands. Jesus, that one has quite a bit of horizontal momentum going to it. Okay, psycho dashing actually does something but we're just going to keep stabbing it anyway. Horizontal momentum. Damn you. Damn. This guy This guy ain't no joke. And so now, both hands down. We're wondering... Yeah, I, you're not wondering. I sure am how the hell I damage him. So Psycho Dashing clearly is not it. And there we go. He was exposed for a brief moment. And there we go. So... Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus! This is a sound effect straight out of Contra. And so I died. So his hands came back up. So now I know what to do and what not to do. We're playing it hard mode still. It must have been a nightmare. Here we go, round two. Round two, three health. I know what to do. I can take him on. I can take him on. I ain't a, I ain't a, I ain't a bitch. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna sh go straight for him. Straight for him. Straight for him. Okay, apparently I can't do that. Apparently I can't do that. Apparently I can't do that. Horizontal momentum, damn you. So now we got this thing, and if I die, I'm just gonna rewind, because, you know, I'll rewind really far, but I'll rewind. Jesus, 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 Wait, I'm a genius. I'll eat the herb. I'm not equipped. How about I'll eat another herb? I'll eat another herb. So there we go. We gained our strength. Full health on practically. Now we can win. Hard mode, hard mode, abusing health items. I got skills to pay the bills, so... We just gotta stab the hands until it goes away, and so now we just got open wound time on the boss. You know, stupid triangles. Jesus, 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 Jesus. These things follow me, that's so unfair. Like, how am I supposed to avoid them? This is, this boss is rigged. Rigged. More I can make a joke about an election here, so we're just gonna stab this thing with my baton until it goes away. Go away, hand. Like, it's... Frieden would make this fight much easier, considering the range I would have to be at would be much less, but... You know, I ain't... I ain't... I ain't one to be a... You just gotta step, step. Step, step. Step, step. Oh, jeez, jeez. Stop, stop. He's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating. 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 I got more, I got more. I, got, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Wait, no, that wasn't it. I can do it, I can do it. I'm gonna equip it. There we go, take the medicine. There we go, four herbs, one boss, second round. Not even trying to do it again later. So, I also didn't save recently, so that's probably another useful reason why I'm getting, I'm getting railed, I'm getting railed. Don't even care. Slapping hands everywhere. But if you stay in the back, he can't get you. So, I'm like psychic. Does the baton troll actually do anything here? In this context? Does it do anything? I would... Okay, so we got a juke juke. Juke, juke, juke. And then wait for the fire juke. Wait for the fire juke, 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 juke. Oh god, damage, 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 damage. So we're gonna try one more. Um, this doesn't seem to be going quite well. I stopped eating the herb. No, I'm taking the herb. This 
stupid little spinny fire cube is making this way harder than it should be. So, or maybe it is about as hard as it should be. Maybe I'm not abusing everything right. But they don't make bosses like these anymore. So we got one hand, one hand, one hand down. So there we go. I thought it was gonna bounce, but it didn't. So there we go. There we go. There we go. One more hand. One more hand. One more hand. One more hand. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. So now, now I can start like juke shoot. I can juke shoot him. Well, everything does one damage. There's no point to juke shooting. I can take two more hits. I can take one more hit. One more hit. I'm down. I'm down, everybody. I'm down. We're going down. We're going down. How far back do I have to go? How many? How many times do I have to mash the? How many times do I have to mash? Oh, I blew all my herbs. Um, this boss is going down, by the way. Like you all know that, right? And I ain't using freedom. Okay, I figured out this much, you guys. So far, each hand takes nine baton twirl slaps. So I'm just gonna slap him with some batons. And I found out you only got, got a brief session to hit him. For each orb he has, you had to hit him twice. So basically that ends up in a lot of damage you got to deal without ever getting hit. So basically the name of the game is avoid those little triangle diangle cubes. So hand down, you have to wait for his eyes to open. And then you just go, go in, go in as soon as the eyes open. As soon as the eyes open. Because I can't deal damage. So there we go. Now I got one. Now I got hit twice. Usually, usually I can only get like two pokes in. And so now, I, now that's when you're done. You can, can you still hit him? Yeah, but you'll take it way too much damage. So then you gotta play the repeat game, and then you gotta do this for a while. And then I'm probably about to die anyway, so you might as well just watch me until I die. Because, you know, it's kind of funny. But, see, look, I got like the hands down. I got the hands down to a science. Three, four, five, six. That was six hits, one, two. And then that was the ninth. No, that's the ninth. There we go. And then wait for the eyes to get eyes open. Then jump down. Jump down. So there you go. We're attritioning. We're attritioning him. And my name is it's not anything to be Patricia for attrition. So we're just gonna one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, that was eight, nine. There we go. I accidentally tapped it the second it came up. I gotta start watching those things more often because these things are really easy to dodge. The little hands, because then it can't hit you from the back row. The only thing that can hit you is that little triangle diangle thing. What? 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 Okay, I died. Okay. Last round. Last round. Here we go. All or nothing. On this one. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, you can't damage him whatsoever after he starts shaking, so... Here we go. I only took, like, I took almost no damage that round, so that was really good. The only reason I took damage was because I was trying to damage him way after, so... I'm ready on this one. This one this one I can say I'm ready. And I think there's a bit of there's a brief invincibility period when I do the dash attack, so I might want to remember that. So, there we go. Both hands dead, wait for the eyes. I'm waiting. One. One, two. One, two. One. Okay, I got five. I got five. And let's see, I think you can have twenty orbs, so that's forty hits. And I'm, oh, that's so gay. I didn't deserve to get hit there. This is the last all or nothing round. We're going. We're going for him. My phone's vibrating. Someone, someone's doing something really dumb on Twitter, probably. So let's just do this and almost one more on the hand. There we go. There we go. There we go. Watch the eyes. The eyes open. This is a horizontal one, so you want to. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's halfway dead. He's almost halfway dead. We just don't get that stupid fire pillar that comes down this lane. And it came down the other one. So watch, watch me go. Watch me go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine broke the hand. So once you break the hand, I don't think it can hurt you. So, so, in certain da sometimes the dash does two hits because just the length it's open. So, come on, come on, come on. Don't go open until now. No, no, no. Go open, go open. So, and so he's about, uh, I think, 40% dead. We're getting there, we're getting there, you guys. Slowly but surely. So, slowly but steady with the race. I can't turn around there, but I keep doing it for some dumb reason, so... So we just wait for him to go, and then you can smack him from the side. And then... One more tap. Maybe two. Okay, there you go. He's down, he's down. Eyes open. Eyes open. Eyes open. Eyes open. Jesus! <laughs> okay. Okay, so we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta go perfect mode. And I wasn't watching the screen, so it took half hour damage, so... Now we gotta go more than perfect mode. Morgan Perk it. Morgan Perk. Morgan Morgan Perk. So 
There we go. One more. One more hit. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you just Psycho Dash? Oh, shit. I forgot I had Psycho Dash. <sighs> Next time, we're getting him. We're getting him good.